Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies. This is Rinvas. So, in this session, as we are going to discuss one interview question. So, that is how to create a user defined immutable class? It's a question. Question. So, how to create or simply rules? Rules to create. Rules to create immutable class immutable class. So, first of all what is immutable? So, immutable means what? Once the object has been created, the object state cannot be modified. Object state cannot be modified is nothing but a immutable object. And here it is now we are defining the class. So, what are the rules we need to follow? So, the first rule, the first rule define a class a so, class and of course, it is a public class is available to all to instantiate nothing but to communicate the class name you can give anything suppose directly is a class name we are giving immutable class immutable. So, make that class as a final class as a final class sir why sir final class. So, nothing but extensions are not allowed. Suppose, if you allow that extensions what will happen means what by overriding the methods they can modify the state of an object chances are there. So, that is why avoid that. So, the first rule is what the class is available to all for communication. So, it is a public and next one. So, not allowed to extend. So, it is a final is the first rule. Next one. So, generally all the properties we should declare it as a private if you want to if you want to declare a variable it is a private variable. So, now it is a final. So, according to that POJO rules and all as so we know that only object is visible, but properties of visible I mean properties of object are not visible. Suppose as an object I am visible. So, tell me what is my properties. So, means what what is my is so, my qualification and all so, where I am staying. So, all the things you cannot see. So, directly the information is not available in the same way this is a general thing only the so, properties are always a private. Now, the new thing is added it is a final. So, final means what once you assign the value that cannot be modified once you assign the value that cannot be modified it is a final. Okay. And next one, sir, how to initialize the values, right? So, try to initialize all the values through constructor. So, here it is the constructor is allowed. Constructor in the process of object creation only is try to assign, just pass the value, the pass the value, and that will be assigned to the variable. It is a final variable. Na? So, through constructor in the process of object creation once you assign the value that cannot be modified first time we are assigning the values and next one. So, please do not allow setter methods. So, what is the use of a setter method to modify the value to set the new value, but here generally the classes allow public getter methods and setter methods. Suppose, get here it is a value and next one public set a value set a value means what it is taking and it is assigning to existing a here and here it is it is not giving anything. So, setter method return type is nothing and it is taking, but getter method means what it is giving return a value current object a value. So, return type is a integer. But in immutable class, so do not write a setter method, only getter methods are allowed. We can collect the information of immutable object, but we cannot set the new values to immutable object. Okay. These are the rules of immutable class, simply the class must be a public and final and next one the properties are private and final. Third one. So, provide initialization only through constructor at the time of object creation 
नेक्स्ट वन ओनली गेटर मेथड आर अलाउड टू एक्सेस द इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑफ इम्यूटेबल ऑब्जेक्ट बट सेटर आर नॉट अलाउड सो दीज आर द रूल्स वी हैव टू फॉलो टू क्रिएट यूजर डिफाइंड इम्यूटेबल क्लास इन जावा एप्लीकेशन सो होप यू अंडरस्टूड फॉर मोर वीडियोज प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू नरेशी चैनल थैंक यू थैंक यू ऑल Thank you.